Nestled within the heart of Sri Lanka's dry zone lies a marvel of ancient hydraulic irrigation civilization and ecological balance, the village tank. These masterpieces are not just reservoirs of water. They are the lifeblood of an entire agricultural economy and the cornerstone of food security for the nation. Historically, these tanks were crafted by constructing dams across natural water streams or by capturing rainwater between two highlands within respective watersheds. With around 18,000 tanks in Sri Lanka and the majority scattered in the dry zone, they form the backbone of Sri Lanka's proud hydraulic civilization and irrigation civilization. In the intricate system of the dry zone, some tanks are interconnected, forming what is known as cascade tanks. This unique feature optimally utilizes water resources, ensuring a natural flow that benefits both agriculture and the environment. The cascade tank system consists of various levels. At the upper section are the kuluwau, or forest tanks, serving as catchments for wildlife survival. Water then cascades down to the Olagambaba, acting as storage tanks. And finally, to the Ihilavaba, the main storage tank. The heart of the cascade system is the Gambaba, or village tank. Located in highland areas, it sustains both the village and downstream farmlands. But it's not just a body of water, it's a complex ecosystem. Components like gasgomana or tree girdles act as windshields, reducing water evaporation. The perahana a filter of small grasses and reed beds effectively traps silt and floating debris. Meanwhile, the Godavala and Isvatia contribute to water quality maintenance by trapping silt and filtering rainwater. The Kattakadua, a woodlot at the downstream bank, not only provides habitat for biodiversity, but also serves as a natural reservation, protecting the tank bund from erosion and safeguarding ecosystem services. The seepage-prone Kattakadua area plays a vital role. Plant species here help reduce water hardness released into the paddy lands. Small water ponds formed due to seepage become resting habitats for animals contributing to the tank's water quality and supporting livelihoods. But these tanks face challenges, especially with climate change. Prolonged droughts and flash floods threaten their existence, including encroachment of tank reservation by human beings. The rehabilitation of the cascade system emerges as a beacon of hope by being one of the best practices in adapting to climate change. It ensures optimal water usage, reduces wastage, and improves resilience in marginal communities. As we marvel at the ingenuity of the cascade tank system, let us recognize its crucial role in not only sustaining agriculture and food security, but also in preserving the delicate balance between man and nature. For in the heart of Sri Lanka's dry zone, these village tanks stand as guardians of an ancient legacy. Weathering the tides of time and climate change. 
Sri Lanka exemplifies leading practices in climate resilience and adaptability, ensuring robust food and water security and safeguarding ecosystem functions to promote the health and well-being of both society and the environment. Recognizing the paramount importance of Sri Lanka's cascade system, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations bestowed upon it the designation of a globally important agricultural heritage system in 2017. Harmony in harvest, sustaining lives, unlocking the secrets of Sri Lanka's cascade heritage.